Is that working? It's connected. Are you purposely singing that loud? That was my voice! It's bloody freezing, but I've got some really, really exciting news. I'm out here walking with Phil. We are like the walking club because I know I've not been able to ride. Phil equally hasn't been able to. God, my hat's sort of wonky. Um, Phil equally hasn't been able to ride his bike either. <laughs> no. So Phil said today, he's like, oh, do you know what? Rather than walking near the woods near where we live, I'll um, we'll go to Heaton Park because there's a light show on. And I was like, oh, where is this light show? And it's like, <laughs> well, the lights aren't turned on. I was like, what? And he's like, well, you have to pay for that. That's why we're coming in the day and it's free. Let's come in. Oh. Oh, look, it's like, look, look, look. Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's wanting food. I don't, literally don't have anything. Oh, hey, up, Squizzy. Oh, no. Okay. I think she's got some food, mate. Your oh, no, there. I'm really mean. I'm so sorry. We'll go and find you some food, Squizzy. We'll find you some nuts. He's following us. He's got all squirrels coming out. Hey, up. It's okay. You're like a squirrel magnet. <laughs> they're everywhere. Oh. I'm getting out of here. I'm, getting... <laughs> I'm feeling a bit scared. Look how quickly. Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. <laughs> they are literally everywhere. <gasps> look at them. Look at all them hanging on. They are lit up then. Look at that. Just don't tell everyone. They're all coming. <laughs> Manchester over there. <laughs> what are you doing? So this is the highest spot in Manchester. Is. Right, it's gonna walk. <laughs> you can pass. <laughs> Thanks. So it's not the most exciting of videos, but I have some really exciting news that I'm so so happy about. Um and just give you a bit of an update on how I'm doing. So this week I had a like a checkup with my consultant, like specifically for my head and my brain. And went to that checkup and he was really impressed and happy with i guess my recovery and he was like i think it's a remark he said i think it's a remarkable recovery because i did all the checks like the vision like balance all those things and he was really happy with them and so i was obviously really happy with that but the most exciting news is i said to him when can i ride a bike again and initially in the hospital they'd said to me that it was going to be six months and i didn't want to i never mentioned that figure because i thought in the back of my head i was like it won't be six months it, it can't be six months because when they told me that i mean i had a little cry i had a little mardi cry because i was like i don't want to not ride my bike for six months and so yeah so i asked him i said you know they said it was going to be six months when can i ride a bike again and he said you can ride a bike now I was like, what? I can ride a bike now? And he said, yes. So I am just so happy and just so grateful that I'm able, not, and he said not to go out crazy, do anything like, I'm not gonna be doing any old axes or any long distance stuff, but he said that you can just go steady outside. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've not wanted to do it yet because the weather's been a little bit, I don't know, not ideal. So I'm gonna probably go out, I don't know when but it's just good to know that I can when I feel ready to. So I don't know whether I'm gonna go out on the mountain bike first or the road bike, I've not decided yet, but obviously I will share that when I do. And I just wanted to say thank you for all the nice comments and just all, you, especially on Instagram, messaging me, asking me how I'm getting on. I really do appreciate that. But it's bloody freezing, so I'm gonna have to go in a minute. We're gonna go and look at this light show that's not really a light show um, because it's still too early. Um, but, I will, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Let's go and chat to Phil. I'm a pillar of the community. <laughs> You've got such a dick. <laughs> so you've had your first ride today. Yeah. Do you want to explain? I've asked him before, I was like, oh. are you happy to talk about it? And you were like, yeah, I'm happy yeah. to talk about it. So just tell us what, why you've not been able to ride. Uh, I have had a mini stroke yeah. at age 40. And uh, I also ripped the cartilage in between my ribs and sternum. And I've had some family bereavements as well so six weeks without riding and today I just had a gentle one down the canal how was it it was nice just put some tunes on put a delicate the back that was it I had a, a mental fight to get out I've been scared of going out mm -hmm. and then today kind of said right let's what, go what helps you get out uh, just it's you versus your mind isn't it and you just got to overcome that otherwise you'll draw yourself into a hole so I was just like right I gotta go so 
went to that or Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no, no more video yeah, games. I've had enough of that. <laughs> I was trying to get out of it. <laughs> no, I'm good. Like, no. <laughs> Come on, you're a, you're a YouTuber. Phil's got a YouTube channel. I'll leave it below. It's mountain bike. Although I don't know what that is. A rat with an umbrella. I don't really see. What, what's Christmas here about that? Oh. Is there? Did you get to the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> went round to the other side, didn't Oh, it? did you? Yeah. <laughs> Just speaking to random. <laughs> we saw that guy earlier on. Um, and it, they weren't a guy's toilet, so I was like, oh, you just boot women's. But that was after you'd been in, he was like, he opened the door, like, not going in there. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Someone did have a poop in there, but it wasn't me. And it did smell horrible. Was it in the top? No, let's not talk about this. It's a good day, we're going to not talk about poop. We're going to talk about riding back, <laughs> looking at your face and walking past people. Brooks, what the world would look Yeah, why don't you just put it on the floor and do it? Because this is easy, and when you get to my age, you've got to, like, you can't... Can't touch your toes. I can see them, I just can't touch them. Look at that. That's cheating. This song is about you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm wet in the bog. Oh. Oh, it's wet, that. it's really wet. I really want to go on that one. <laughs> you got steady. We've just been told we can ride bikes again. <laughs> gonna fit through here. Can I fit or you fit? Well, I don't know. I'm gonna still gauge it when you've been through. <laughs> you made it. Flip it, heck. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's shaking this. Don't. Don't. Is it actually? Yeah, hurry up. I wanna get out, I don't know which way. I don't know if I wanna go that way or that. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> my hat's getting stuck, I'm going to have to take my hat off. <laughs> Come on. I don't know, I'm trying to size you. <laughs> getting stuck in it. <laughs> oh, oh. Free, so look, free lights. <laughs> all the lights are on now. Oh my god, let's go look at these. Go on. And this is what it's actually called. I didn't see what they like. Oh, someone's smoking. Ooh. My shopping in my hands and I'm Someone had to come back the rocky way. <laughs> Look at it. They got the Christmas tree. This is carnage. What is going on? So I've just got back and look, these bikes, they're just waiting to be ridden and I can't wait to get back outside and ride again. But I just wanted to reiterate that I'm not going to rush into anything and I'm just going to take it really, really steady. And... Even though like the consultant said that, you know, you can still ride outside, I'm not gonna do anything like any long distance stuff or any like major intensity for a little while. So I'm just gonna just gradually get back into it. And yeah, I'm really excited. And I just want to come on and say a couple little thank yous. Sounds like a, like a speech or something, but I just want to say thank you to you lot for just caring and just being so kind and sending me messages and just wishing me really well. And I just feel so much better. Um, and then also I want to thank, it's Dr. Nigel Jones. He's a sports medicine consultant. He's at Spire Liverpool Hospital. And he's a friend of a friend. And I've been talking to him about getting back into riding. And he has very kindly just been helping me um, and just giving me advice. And also he said that, you know, if, you know, when I'm starting to get back into riding, if I've got any questions, I um, need any more advice that I can ask him. So that is just really nice. And I feel like it brings out people's really, like, I just can't, like, their kindness. Like, honestly, I can't quite believe, like, how lovely people have been. So thank you so much. And I'm going to go and get my tea now because I'm very hungry. And I guess I'll see you all next video. Also as well, do you want to see what's peeking just outside of this shot? Look at this. I tried not to get it in, but I'm just going to show you because it's ridiculous. So that is a little lie with um, my bobble hat that I had on earlier because it's too bright with it off and I just, it looked too dark, like if I didn't have a light there, so I'm just gonna put it there. Anyway, enough behind the scenes. I will see you all next video. Have a lovely weekend and yeah, I'll see you next week. Oh, hang on, how did they get there so quick? It's over there. <gasps> 
so I had that. I dropped my keys when I got out of the car. I didn't think I'd picked them up. I didn't think that was felt. You don't need to wear this. Oh God, <laughs> I'm actually. I'm. Ah!